duck houses and moats. You couldn't make it up, but there have also been very serious abuses, flipping homes to avoid tax, claiming second home allowances twice over. Epping Forest MP Eleanor Lang is repaying the most £25,000 in capital gains tax. Arch Eurosceptic Bill Cash is repaying £15,000 worth of mortgage claims. John Butterfill is returning almost as much mortgage payments and council tax for a staff annex, not he insisted, servants' quarters. Former Minister John Gummer is repaying £11,500 in gardening bills, those molehills on his estate, and in second home allowance. And Peter Vigors, he of Duck House fame, is handing back £10,000. David Cameron insists this is not a witch hunt. This is an attempt, and I think a significant attempt, and a significant step in restoring trust in politics. It's not perfect, but it's an important um, step forward. What we deliberately did was not go back and say, did you obey the rules? Because we know the rules were broken. Well, the rules were no good. What we did was actually go back and say, what's reasonable? What shows understanding of the public anger? Tory MPs have so far paid back just over a quarter of a million pounds. This is only the latest list of Tory MPs who've paid back some of the expenses they claimed. It's only an interim report. There will be more. And criminal prosecutions against MPs, not only Conservatives of course, remains a distinct possibility. Mr Cameron insists he's not protecting his closest supporters. As far as the Conservatives are concerned, look, I mean, they've been up to their neck, I'm afraid, in the expenses problems. And while well, David Cameron's been very keen to criticise people like Anthony Steedon and the Wintertons, who he wants out anyway, he's been much less vocal about George Osborne, Michael Gove and Alan Duncan. He seems to be operating a two-tier policy of being soft on his friends and hard on his enemies. No money returned today by Andrew Mackay. His case is being investigated by the Commons authorities. But David Cameron hopes to begin to draw a line under the expenses scandal. It may be a vain hope. Glenna Glaser, Sky News, Westminster.